I, Judy from Witch Peacecraft, welcome. Yes, I am up and about. Rona has almost left the building. I am finally negative for the virus and I am out of quarantine. So I decided I would come out in the garden and do a bit of crafting. It's a lovely sunny day. It's not too hot and there is a bit of a breeze. So I hope that doesn't interfere with the volume too much but it is lovely to be outside and not in quarantine. So all three of us have had it. Thing was out of quarantine Thursday, me today, and Reeves, well, he won't be till Tuesday. Even though he was the mildest of us all, you still have to do seven days. And um, yeah, it's fun. It is so nice. Um, for me, the worst of it was the nausea and the headache. And yes, even though I am negative, I have some flu-like symptoms, still congestion. But that's it. Thing is at the beach with our little dog, Saxon, who almost went stir crazy and nuts because no one could take him out anywhere. We did, um, he did get to run around the backyard a bit, but he loves a trip to the beach for a swim and a run and play with other dogs. And that's what Thing's doing right now with him. And Reeves is in quarantine, resting in his room. Me, I brought some craft work out here because the other thing for me with the um, being ill was I didn't pick up any knitting, crochet, any crafting for at least five days. Um, I just couldn't concentrate more than a few seconds. I'm leaving my big knitting projects alone for a while. I may have to pause this. Pause this won't be a moment. Sorry, guys, because it's, it is beautiful weather and it is a tourist season. The aeroplanes are using the ocean as a bike path to sell off the area, and they're coming in this way, so it gets a bit noisy. But they're trying to give the tourists the best view of Cairns before they land. Anyway, concentration was really hard for me. I could not concentrate for more than a minute. So a lot of my big knitting projects haven't progressed, neither has my knitting workshop, because I just couldn't do it. I laid around a lot and watched a lot of cooking shows and slept a lot. But anyway, I have managed to get together a few finished objects I haven't shown you, so I thought I'd show you these today. These were almost finished before I got sick and um, I finished them on. And here is number one finished object. This is Wiener Puppy. Ta-da! He is made for um, Llama Mama Kayla's Puppy Parade she's having. And yes, he's really cute. Except I think I may have overstuffed his ears a little bit. All I had to do for him was to attach his little legs. I'd almost finished him. I made him out of... Um, USA style 10 ply yarn scraps and actually his stuffing what I did was you know those little ankle let nylon socks you get I used one of those in his body and I stuffed it with all the ends I've cut off projects because I have three or four bags over the years that I've collected the ends and he's actually stuffed with ends from a project but he is wiener puppy He's really quite cute. I, I really wish I hadn't stuffed his ears quite so much. He is actually a lime brand pattern. Let's hope I can find it. Here he is. It's a free pattern. And he is Vanity Choice's Amigurumi Wiener Dog. And there he is. You'll find it on their website or Ravelry. I hope the sun isn't sort of glaring that. But it is nice to be outside. Wiener Dog. Well, Lama Mama Kayla's Puppy Parade. So that's the first finished object. My second one is for Amigurumi Wars. Now, I'd almost finished this and I had planned to make a few more other things, but it isn't going to happen at the moment. I'm still having problems with concentration. But here he is. He is Chameleon, Mini Chameleon. Now, this is a tutorial and yes, I can't remember who buy, but they will all be in the description below if you want to check out the links. He is really cute. All I had to do to finish him was put the white around the eyes. And yes, hosting Amigurumi Wars this year is... Is it Freeze Baby? 
crochet and Sherry's bag of holding. I'll put a link in the description below. I have to pause it again guys, sorry. So we're back again. <laughs> yes, he's very cute and those two ladies are hosting Amagurumi Wars this month and I was planning to make a few little things but Chameleon may have to be it. He's made out of Red Heart Super Saver scrap yarn I had left so I've been doing quite some scrappy projects before I got sick. I did bring a project out here today to do um, a knitting project that I need to finish before the end of the month for um, Zeta's calendar cow but it requires a, a certain amount of concentration and I'm still not at a great level. However, I have brought something else out with you to show you the progress on a whip. Yes, something I don't do. Here it is. Ta-da! That's my progress keeper there from when I first showed you. And I've managed to do a few rows in the last couple of days. Now, this is for Amanda Jane Mousy Makes uh, Make Along Knitting with Ukraine. Even though it's crochet because you can pretty much do anything. Um, I have been doing this scrap blanket in baby scrap yarn, so it's lovely and soft. So this is by a Ukraine, a Ukraine designer, which is part of the make-alongs um, rules. You have to pick a pattern, and it can be a free pattern by a Ukraine designer. I'm hashtag knitting with Ukraine to help the, the designers and ladies in Ukraine just highlight that they're, you know, we're thinking of them. So this is called Sea Waves Blanket by Lena Fedelova and she's done it out of all blue scrap yarns and um, there is graph on the back for you to do it. It's really easy. So with my concentration not great, I have managed to do this because it's a two row pattern repeat. And yes, all you need for each row, because each row there are lots of ends, I will probably do an envelope border on this is about 10 grams for the wave row and then for the single crochet row not very much at all but yeah between 7 to 10 grams depending on the size of your blanket but I'm really liking that and it is using up all my baby scrap yarn so what I've probably done one two three four five six repeats in the last two days which is pretty slow for me, slow going, but it's about all I can manage. All my big knitting projects and knitting workshop, can't do them. Um, TV shows, not really great at, just been watching a lot of cooking shows. Um, as far as what I'm drinking today to make me feel better, and we have to pause again. Yes, nausea was really bad for me, so I am still experiencing that and I am drinking ginger, lemon and honey. Ginger for the nausea, lemon for the vitamin C and honey to help the medicine go down. I do know Amanda Jane at Mouse's Makes is now not well, so I hope she gets well soon. Out of the three of us, I've probably been hit the hardest, which is really unusual because I rarely get sick. But lots of people have had it and lots of people have recovered and I will get better quickly. Tomorrow is Monday and I'm going into work for a little while. Um, my bosses were amazing. They sent me the most beautiful local goods gift hamper uh, telling me to get well soon and my big boss rang me and said do not rush back to work because long COVID is an issue and rushing back to work doesn't help. But I am going in just to um, check on a few things. And I left a pattern book behind. <laughs> yes, I left one of my pattern books behind and I want to pick it up. <laughs> um, my boss, my other boss who wrote me said, you must be really sick if you're not knitting. If you're not crafting, you're really sick. Because he said, how much knitting have you got done? I said, none. And he said, then you're really sick and had a laugh. Um, his wife's a beautiful quilter. Anyway, guys, what have you been working on? Um, I am loving the sunshine and fresh air, even if the aeroplanes have decided the ocean arrival way is the best. The noise is not that bad. 
and it is so lovely to be out of my room. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and remember, march to the beat of your own craft drum and make something cute. Bye for now. Thank you.